Nobody voted for Rishi Sunak. <laughs> you know, the British people didn't vote for Rishi Sunak. The British people didn't vote for, for Liz Truss. The British people didn't vote for Theresa May. So there's this in, immense weariness with the Conservative Party, which will not go away. And there is nothing you can do to move the dial on that. There was one suspicion that perhaps if inflation came down and wages began to rise a little bit, which is always a, a difficult paradox to pull off, uh, that, that perhaps the position would be better for the Conservative Party. But there is also the feeling amongst those who, particularly up here, that there's been a sort of palace coup. While there's no great love left for Boris Johnson, the people up here who voted overwhelmingly for, for the Conservative Party in 2019, now see that the Conservative Party is back on its usual liberal Remainer trajectory and want to have nothing to do with it. 